Hi everyone, it's Martin here, Mad Reefer. And today I'm going to tell you why you should get a fox face rabbit fish. I'm telling you about my experiences and a few facts about fox faces. So I deal with a few questions that I always get asked. How long do fox face rabbit fish live for? With the right conditions and diet, a rabbit fish will live between five and seven years in your home aquarium. The big question that everybody asks. Fox face rabbit fish reef safe. I've found that fox faces are, can live with more aggressive fish as they tend to leave it alone because of its venomous spines. Rabbit fish are generally reef safe if they're well fed. If you do cut down on your feed and it's possible for them to start nipping and consuming some species of LPS and even some of your soft corals. These guys are absolute algae monsters. Just You see them all the time up and down your rocks grazing on algae. A well-balanced fox face rabbit fish diet would consist of commercial algae and algae sheets, marine flake, pellets, herbivore food. I also feed man mice, shrimp and brown shrimp, which I've had it takes quite readily. The worry why people actually stay away from fox face rabbit fish is the question is, are they poisonous? And yes, the back dorsal spin fins do have a venom. Um, they will tend to stay away from me. I find that when I have mine hand in my aquarium, it doesn't come to me and I'll touch wood. I've never been stung yet. The people do say to me, what happens if you do get stung? To get rid of the sting, it's best to run the part that has been stung under very hot water or place it under a hot light. Just be careful when placing it under that layer light, light as you can get a nasty burn in the bulb. The heat tends to work very well for actually numbing the pain. Well, fox face rabbit fishes. While they're happy and in your tank uh, swimming around, they're always like a bright yellow. They always look happy. I have noticed that when you put your hand in the tank, man does go for cover and he will change to like a mottled, blotchy coloration, which they also do at night once the lights go out. It seems to like camouflage itself into the rocks when it's sort of a bit scared. So, with them being venomous, they do actually just stay away from you. Um, unless obviously you go grab it with your hand and they're going to get stung. Especially with my daughter when I first bought it, was why is it called a rabbit fish? Well, from what I take, this is because their snouts resemble noses of rabbits. They're also known as span foots, probably due to the presence of numerous spans on the number of fins, which can give a painful sting. The fish, it will just absolutely destroy algae in your tank, and I think it's an amazing addition to any reef tank. Anyway guys, if you like the video, thumbs up, and if you could subscribe, thanks.